When was the last time you saw a truly dark, starry night? As a child, I found myself captivated by the celestial bodies twinkling above my grandmother's village in Penaroya, Spain. The village, with its mere four inhabitants, was a haven for the stars. Untouched by the reach of urban light pollution, there I could see so many stars that I struggled to distinguish the main constellations. It was as if I was on a rocket, journeying through the depths of space. This fascination led me down the path of becoming an astrophysicist and documentary photographer. The stars, once a childhood curiosity, now became my profession, my passion. But as the years passed, the glow of urban lights began to overshadow the natural brilliance of our night skies. Today, I travel the world in search of the last places where one can experience truly dark starry nights. I invite you to join me on this journey to explore the last sanctuaries of our starry skies. The beauty of a truly dark night sky is something to behold. Imagine, if you will, a time when the sight of the Milky Way was as commonplace as the sight of the moon. An era before the advent of gaslighting in the 19th century, when Paris became the first city in Europe to be illuminated. Today, however, such a sight has become a rarity, as the glow of human civilization outshines the stars. Light pollution, as we call it, has veiled our night skies, obscuring the celestial bodies that once guided our ancestors and inspired countless myths and legends. This shroud of artificial light not only deprives us of the ethereal beauty of the cosmos, but it also disrupts the natural rhythms of wildlife and has potential implications for human health. Yet, there are still places on Earth where the night sky reigns supreme, untouched by the light of human civilization. Places where the Milky Way unfurls across the sky in a dazzling display of starlight, painting the heavens with its iridescent glow. It's in these remote corners of the world where I've had the privilege of capturing the center of the Milky Way on camera, a sight that is as awe-inspiring as it is humbling. In these sanctuaries of darkness, the universe unfolds before your eyes, reminding us of our place in the cosmos. From the vast deserts of Morocco to the rugged landscapes of Patagonia, I've journeyed to the ends of the earth in search of the darkest skies. Each journey, each photograph, is a testament to the resplendent beauty that lies beyond our world. Yet these images serve as more than mere visual spectacles. They serve as a reminder, a reminder that we are but a small part of a vast universe, a reminder to protect the dark skies that remain, and a reminder of the celestial spectacle we stand to lose if we let our skies be washed out by artificial light. These are places where the night sky still reigns supreme, untouched by the light of human civilization. From Morocco to Patagonia, there exist few places where one can still witness truly dark starry nights. As an astrophysicist and a science communicator, I've had the privilege of traveling to these sanctuaries of darkness and experiencing the awe-inspiring beauty of the universe as our ancestors once did. In the northern reaches of Chile's Atacama Desert, the dry air and cloudless skies create an ideal setting for stargazing. As I stood at an altitude of nearly 4,000 meters, the panoramic view of the Milky Way's path across the sky was a sight to behold. The center of the Milky Way, the brightest part of our galaxy, appeared as a glowing arch, a celestial bridge connecting distant parts of the universe. Traveling to an abandoned village in northern Chile, I was once again greeted by a sky bursting with stars. Here, the constellation of the Great Bear, popularly known as the Big Dipper, was visible, but with a twist. The constellation appeared upside down, compared to its orientation in the northern hemisphere, a testament to the different perspective offered by our globe's southern realms. On the Canary Islands of Spain, I had the opportunity to observe the center of the Milky Way during the summer. Our solar system, in its vast cosmic journey, orbits this center every 250 million years. To witness a part of this grand cosmic dance was a humbling experience, a reminder of the enormity of the universe and our tiny place within it. These last dark sky sanctuaries are a treasure for humanity. They offer a glimpse into the majesty of the cosmos, free from the veil of artificial light. They remind us of our connection to the universe, of our origins and our future. We must strive to preserve these places, for they give us perspective, inspire wonder, and fuel our curiosity. In these places, we not only find the beauty of the universe, but also a reminder of our place within it.